we are into <coughs> the topic of routes of drug administrations uh, till now uh, we have seen the classifications of different routes of drug administrations and we have basically seen the systemic routes in different parts we have covered different systemic routes and almost all systemic routes uh, we concluded last week concluded was uh, the parental routes now we will be heading to local routes of drug administrations now here in local routes of drug administrations it's been divided into three parts first is topical then drug into the deeper tissues and arterial supply so we'll see all of all three of these things briefly so let's continue with local route now as the name suggests local route means higher concentration of drug goes at the local site so that is the first and foremost thing the higher concentrations of drug goes at the local site and there would be no exposure to the rest of the body so systemic exposure would be little or none so let's start with first that is topical route now we can produce this local effects at different place in the body like for an example and the basic thing is in skin we apply some drugs on to the skins like for an example topical local anesthesia lignocaine gel has been there which we apply on the skin to produce topical anesthesia that is good, a good example topical effect or the local effect can also be produced on mucous membrane for an example mucous membrane of oropharynx mucous membrane of nasal mucosa we can produce local effects through inhalational route we can get topical effects by instilling eye drops for an example in conjunctivitis so that is again a topical route where we instill eye drops into the eye directly same way ear drops in ear infections we instill ear drops which directly goes at the site intranasal sometimes in stuffy nose we use some nasal sprays so this kind of nasal sprays acts directly onto the nasal mucosa and decreases the congestion anal canal now here in anal canal uh, we use both uh, the effects sometimes we use systemic effects as well okay for an example in child having febrile convulsions okay when children there is febrile convulsions we use this anal route and we introduce suppositories as we have already studied and these suppositories get absorbed and it goes into the systemic circulation and then it produces systemic effects and we give drugs like diazepam right so this is to produce systemic effects but we use this uh, route for producing local effects as well like for an example in case of ulcerative colitis in case of some ulcers right we introduce some drugs through enema at the local site to produce a local effects so see anal canal we can produce both kind of effects so depending upon the situation we use the drug and uh, the route now uh, we can see in uh, our uh, practical lecture there are different formulations we use for this uh, topical effects like powders and ointments cream pastes gels suppository as we talked about and lozenges we use basically in uh, throat or throat infections or the cough where there is constant irritation of pharyngeal mucosa we use this kind of lozenges like capsules which can you know lubricate the surface and decreases the irritations some of the important points about this topical route because you know this topical route sometimes get confused because of uh, some of the drugs for an example drugs like sucralfate vancomycin when we use this kind of drugs these are non absorbable drugs which is been given orally now you'll get confused this is a kind of drugs which we use orally but it does not produce systemic effect it produces local effects how when we use this kind of drug this sucralfate drug is mainly used in peptic ulcers so in peptic ulcers we give these drugs orally in the serum formulation it goes at the site of peptic ulcer 
and coats the ulcer so that it can get prevented its exposure from acid so this is a local effect right so we are giving drugs orally but to produce local effects second example is inhalational drugs acting on bronchi we give inhalational drugs through inhalations through meter dose inhalation inhaler like salbutamol to produce local effects local bronchodilatations we use some irrigational solutions or jelly where in urethra to produce local effects okay so sometimes we uh, irrigate uh, with some of the drugs to the bladder we use in bladder to irrigate so we are uh, giving these drugs systemically but we are producing local effects so that is why it is called as topical effects or the local effects second major thing about this local route is giving drugs to the deeper tissues so here we are approaching to the deeper tissues and providing drug to the deeper tissues with little systemic exposure and the best example is injecting drug into the joint and the example is hydrocortisone we give steroid injections into the knee joints or affected joints we directly cause at the joint side inside the joint and we give the drug so that it can reduce the inflammations sometimes we use drugs like lignocaine to infiltrate around nose giving intrathecally basically this is also a kind of local effects we producing for an example local infiltration like any dental treatment they are giving the drugs around the nerves so the nerve which supplies that area or the tooth uh, gets anesthetized and we can you know proceed on, on it same way in spinal it produces its effect retrobulbar injections i uh, you know in, in the uh, i also posterior part retrobulbary we are injecting some drugs to you know produce its effects so these are some of the drugs which produces local effects by accessing to the deeper tissues and the last but not the least is arterial supply don't get confused with articular and arterial okay it's arterial so uh, drug goes into the arteries but here we don't want systemic effects we want localized effects so drugs which has been injected into the arteries to produce localized effects for an example best example is contrast media for angiography so whatever area we want to study or the or the arteries or the patency of the arteries if we want to study we are injecting contrast media into the arteries and we study its patencies sometimes anti cancer drugs in femoral and brachial arteries to localize the malignancies or the carcinoma we use this uh, thing so thank you very much that was all about the roots of drug administration i hope every route of drug administrations we have covered thoroughly still if you have having any doubts go through them or comment in the comment section i'll try and solve them thank you very much